is this a way of avoiding life for you in, in other ways? You're 48, you're a virgin, right? Yes. You've never been on a date. You don't have a job. You just put on a paper dog suit and walk around town, which doesn't seem to me to be a highly productive course in life. Well, I feel it makes me more of social because it's something that I engage in with people, wearing the costume outwardly, going around the city, and I kind of can get friends that way too, you know, people who interact with me as a dog. And owners, mostly dog owners, really like the situation, you know, of me being a dog on the, you know, outside and yeah. stuff. How many of them have asked you to come home for dinner? <laughs> People do say, they have a thing, can I take you home? They actually say that to me many times for fun. I think they're just yeah, having don't fun. don't go. I know. <laughs> don't go. If somebody's wanting to take you home, don't go. I don't know. Yeah, I've, I'm safe. I know the yeah. safety rules, yes, so I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do for money? Well, my parents, my mom established a trust fund for me. I own my own home. I kind of have just, you know, it doesn't cost too much for me to live. Yeah. And I kind of live simply. I feel like the dog philosophy is just a simple life a little bit. Yeah. So it's, and dog food doesn't cost that much. Yeah. So I'm not doing too bad. Now, you don't really think that you're part dog. I, in some way, I have to believe that I am okay, so because of circumstances over the years that have shown me that I, there must be something there because it's that strong of a thing yeah. for me. So you think you could be a dog trapped in a human body? Yeah, in some way. I don't know how it is. I don't know how it happened, but I do really believe that it's a possibility that maybe I was intended to be a dog somehow. I don't know. Yeah. Is it possible that you like went to a movie with your dad early on about a dog and you have warm feelings and memories of that and then you saw other dog things and they're all kind of always happy endings with a soundtrack behind them and so you just kind of get caught up in that fantasy? People have said, uh, you know, that it might be a fantasy that yeah. I have in the past. Well, it's fantasy but... and listen, again, I, <laughs> I know. It, listen, it, it's people do this for a hobby. That, that's okay, but you're missing an awful lot of life, um, which is if you make a conscious choice to do that, then so be it. Yeah, well, I feel it's a good compromise for me. I mean, it's kind of a compromise to be both a dog and a human in a way. But yeah, I'm, it beats I'm, working, right? Well, I like to, I mean, I'm trying to put it together. See, that's the thing is I'm trying to integrate my life and get a lot of human things on the dog side and a lot of dog things on the human side.